Tuesday nights are for small towns and in tonight's segment NBC 26's Eric Kress takes us to Appleton where we get a tour of somewhere the music never stops. In downtown Appleton just off of College Avenue in the old Zilke building is the Rogeri Violin Shop. There's a lot going on in the violin world if you know where to look in this town. In this quaint workshop, Roger Harrison handles sales, adjustments, restorations, and of course repairs of violins and their immediate family. People sometimes flatter me and call me an artist, but in reality, I'm, I'm a mechanic most days. <laughs> the business works here because of Harrison's attention to the fine details and of course, his proximity to musicians and their ever-breaking tools. Lawrence University Conservatory of Music, three blocks that way and the Appleton Performing Arts Center, PAC, three blocks that way. But Harrison doesn't only cater to professionals. And that sounds solid. Or those aspiring to be so. And that's an open blue seam. Admittedly, what strums the most excitement for him is the most simple of repairs that will put an unused set of strings back on the like market. I've had uh, several instances where, you know, a little girl gets to play her grandmother's violin you know, and she just loves it more than any other violin right from the get-go. So if you need a quick repair, or are possibly just looking for a new hobby, consider this small town feeling repair shop owned by a gentleman who grew up in a much larger city, but is happy to call Northeast Wisconsin home. Appleton downtown reminds me of my old neighborhood in Queens, New York, because New York City is really just a bunch of small cities stuck together. In Appleton, following where the music takes me. Maybe I'm a small town kind of a guy. I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.